today, shipping delivers over 80% of the world trade and carries millions of passengers to destinations across the globe. Maritime transport continues to be the safest and most energy efficient mode of transport. Shipping is a crucial part of the global supply chain. This is a certainty even in uncertain times. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, is fulfilling its role as the global regulator for shipping, ensuring that the maritime sector delivers cargo safely and environmentally sustainable manner. The voyage toward an environmentally sound shipping sector started over 50 years ago. At the time, the world recognized the need to protect our planet, and in particular, the maritime environment from all sources of pollution. A number of maritime pollution incidents were a strong catalyst for action. Against this background, IMO decided to adopt a treaty to prevent pollution from ships into the marine environment. The International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, or MAPOL. Over the time, the IMO member states expanded the MAPOL's coverage starting from accidental and operational oil spill from tankers to prevention of pollution from chemicals carried in bulk package of dangerous goods, sewage, and the garbage, and ultimately, the prevention of air pollution from ships. This year, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of this landmark environmental treaty. To mark this special occasion, our world maritime theme for 2023 is Marple at the 50. Our commitment goes on. Through these decades, MAPOL has consequently advanced to keep up with the lessons learned and new demands, such as the imperative to tackle climate change and to accommodate new technologies. Its rules are continuously upgraded as you look to a sustainable future and enhance the protection of our planet and oceans. MAPOL has had a positive impact on the marine environment. It has changed how ships like this one are designed and operated. The number of oil spills fell by over 90% through the last 50 years due to this and other targeted interventions. Thanks to MAPOL, the discharge of plastic garbage into the sea is banned, and operational waste such as garbage and sewage cannot simply be disposed of at the sea and are very strictly regulated. Air pollution rules have also immensely cut sulfur oxide emissions from ships. The latest effort focuses on driving the decarbonization of shipping, supporting the global fight against climate change. Of course, there is still more work to do. As we mark 50 years of MAPOL, I invite all stakeholders to promote further dialogue on the next phase of IMO's work to enhance sustainable shipping and protect our planet and oceans. Shipping is evolving. Shipping must embrace decarbonization, digitalization, and innovative technology, including automation, while ensuring the human element is a kept front and the center of the technological and the green transition to ensure a sustainable planet for future generations. MAPOL has made a difference to shipping and to the health of our ocean and will continue to do so. As you look ahead to the next 50 years,